I feel like what I need to do is edit together like a little highlight reel of our crap that we say and be like oh join God. Chantel and Stephanie for our first ever. Yeah. <laughs> testing, <laughs> testing, one, two, three. My throat already broke. I think it's me, like a hundred percent. I'm going to move on to a different activity. I mean, Just this place is a disaster. My up. That chair's okay. not supposed to be there. It's been there for three weeks. Yeah. My long arm is basically like just storage at this point yeah it's like a treadmill where yeah. you just put your <laughs> on it and think about exercising I, I have a fabric problem it's mostly your fabric don't smell uh, the gin and tonic also don't take the wrong drink which i still left in the koozie you might find a spider in it like i did God. i literally just spit it out all over everything i mean i have three pairs of flip-flops under my sewing machine right now I'm actually wearing... that's not true two pairs of flip-flops and a pair of Crocs. You'll like these. These are owl slippers. Nice! That I bought as a Christmas gift from Adam to me. I have Crocs <laughs> with my little ponies on them. I think my phone has this thing where I move and it like comes with me. I sort of been... dreamed that there was a poltergeist in my children's bedroom and I like vanquished it by saying the Lord's Prayer and then I had to call the priest at Angela's school to come yeah. make sure it was gone. And I'm like, where did this drink come from? Scary I shouldn't laugh thing. because, of course, I don't need anything um, fun coming with me. Do they go through Zoom calls? I'm not sure. I don't think they do. Uh, this was just a dream that I had, like, literally last night. You know what I think it is? The poltergeist is really Mount Washmore that has currently covered my children's bedroom for the last two weeks. Oh, um, Mount Washmore. Yeah. Yes, Washmore. We're like, yeah, we're like, uh, yeah. I got a few of those. I can't get it in my closet right now because I have yeah. at least seven loads of laundry on the floor. She is definitely a jelly roll. It's like a yard pack, actually. She's hilarious because I'll tell her, I'm like, jelly roll, we both got fat. We need to go on a diet. And she like <laughs> talks back to you and she'll just be like, oh, whoa. And you're like, you're right, indeed. I'm like, I know you don't like hearing it, but we're both got overweight and we need to go for walks. So whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, I, I know you're. And fat, you're like, honey. yes, we know. It's nothing your doctor. I mean, I'm your friend. I'm just telling you what you need to hear. <laughs> I mean, our Chihuahua that you know John and I got that fixer for Chihuahua when we got married, named Henrietta. She would talk. She go, me, 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 and it was like every time you had food, basically. Let me tell you how annoying the dogs were when I cooked a chicken today. They really wanted a very that chicken. good looking chicken. <laughs> it was a very good looking chicken. Had some good breasts on it. Some hot legs. Definitely did. Some. Yeah, my husband devoured those legs. <laughs> he was your wingman after all. He has. Did you like, make cool... that? Like you actually yeah, made that, or did you like, go to I actually club? made that? Because I would have no. gone to Sam's Club and got out a platter and been like, "Yeah, I made that." One Girl. of these nights, we should do it like in your kitchen, and I'll come out <laughs> early to, to make sure it's, it's nice and clean. And I'll teach you to cook while we drink. I so actually good. have made a number of turkeys. So it's funny. I'm not completely inept when it comes to cooking. Your, your camera's following you around to. again. <laughs> it's like you have a documentary filmmaker following you around. It's just room. it's just my little penis. <laughs> I took a class on uh, fabric design and repeating yes. patterns and all that stuff. And just the general like sketching to come up with ideas it was it was very cool doing that another one of the classes i did was on um i just belched thank yeah. you high noon <laughs> i did was um coming up with ideas and things for quilts that are based off of architecture or images that you have mm -hmm. and kind of developing ideas further without thinking of it necessarily as a quilt pattern if i ever write patterns which i'm not sure if i ever will I guess that's that's something to bug you with. Um, I mean, I, I do know a thing or two about quilt math. You you might have an idea of how to do that. Everything how many that patterns did, have you written? Uh, actually, over a hundred and twenty-five. When Stashing with Stephanie started, that was challenging because every month you have to come up with something. It has to be fat quarter friendly, and it has to work with that particular fabric collection, and yeah. everything that's part of that. For that me. would be huge. Well, and it, it's limiting too because it has to be something you can do fairly quickly because I made the majority of those quilts in eight days or less. From concept to completed quilt, video edited, 
pattern out. So I really never had the opportunity to do anything more advanced than that. Kind of like, I like the backwards process though, when yeah. you're given a fabric and you're like, now come up with something for this. What would you look for? for something using and, and that's what you did a lot of. Mostly what I look for when I'm doing that is color value and scale. So I'm like, it does yeah. this need to be on a big scale? How do some of them need to be on a big right. scale and some need to be on a small scale? Is it an Anna Marie Horner and you can't have anything smaller than four inches in there? Yeah, that's kind of how I look at it. Color, scale, color value. Apparently I've forgotten how to use this machine too. Sleeping's good for people. It is. You haven't actually done that. I'm at the point of drinking right. I'm now getting itchy. So this means <laughs> I'm in a good point. I almost put yeah. my drink down on nothing. 